So let's talk a little bit about maintenance on our unit. People ask me all the time, say, Fred, what, what is this uh, blue material, uh, the tint color on, on this? It's a hydrophilic material. Uh, I guess in simple terms, it would be kind of like a Teflon coating. All we're doing with this is, is a, a slick finish on the coil so that we can drain the water off, whether we're in the heat pump mode out here or in the air conditioning mode inside the air handler. We're wanting that water to get away from the coil as soon as possible. So when people ask me, well, how do we clean the coil? Water works really well. But if we're going to clean the coil, we're never going to use acid, that foaming acid that would go in and etch that uh, hydrophilic material. So simple green diluted works really well. Water works really well. Uh, you, can, you can remove the cover, clean it, that kind of scenario. If you want to pull the blower, you can take the two 5 16 screws away, pull the blower wheel out, brush the blower, uh, turn it over, get all the dirt and stuff out of it. That's, that is literally how we would um, maintenance our indoor unit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull the power. We're going to pull the plug on this till basically stop the electricity from flowing into this. And I want to show you something. So we've killed the power. You see that my display has gone black. Now I would be able to pull this cover if I needed to the top to expose the coils if I needed to go inside there and do, do some of that. Very, very simple. All we're going to do is remove the Molex plug for the condenser fan motor, and then we're taking the screws out of the top, removing the cover. Very, very easy to do, and if you needed to, you could uh, run water down through this in a scenario where we're cleaning the coils. But literally what could happen, probably the, the easiest way to do it, put the cover back on, keep the power powered up, and you could take a water hose and start rinsing this out, basically from the bottom up, and all of this water, all of the dirt, all of the junk that was on the coil would basically just kind of boil out in these uh, uh, proven slits. The, the, uh, the bottom of the pan has uh, holes in it for that water to go away from the, uh, the bottom of the uh, condensing unit and get out of the, uh, the middle of part of that. But I would, I would never do the water situation with the powered on, nor would I do it with the cover being off. So if we're going to do some maintenance on that, the motor does not need to be oiled either on the outdoor unit or the indoor unit. They are, are perm permanently sealed. Uh, and we're going to make sure that in a maintenance situation, clean it with water, no foaming acids. And when I go to the electrical panel in a maintenance situation, I am going to make sure that my L1, L2 and ground are tightly secured, uh, sticking a Phillips screwdriver down inside that, never using an impact wrench or an impact uh, screw gun, but using a, a handheld uh, screwdriver type device, making sure that those contacts over the years, it may be uh, uh, the voltage running through there may have a little bit of heat to it. And basically uh, that has gone, the, the tension on that has gone away. So we're gonna tighten those up so that we don't get any um, extra amp draw at that point in time. So maintenance, very, very simple. Um, cleaning it with water, checking the, the debris and stuff inside, cleaning it all up um, and again, uh, making sure that the, the wires are tightly secured to L1, L2, and ground. That's the maintenance process of the Bosch IDS unit.